Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Whenever you come across this video, thank you so much for choosing to spend a little bit of time with me. Oh, it's just a lovely morning. It's kind of rainy. It is a new moon when I'm recording this. Now, this is a timeless reading, so whenever you come across, it's perfectly fine. Um, but it's like rainy and I've got candles lit like throughout the house. It's such a vibe. It's such a vibe. So I wanted to share that with you, get it some messages out, some collective messages and go from there. So, um, let's start with the, oh, um, cash app thing. I'm going to make that. Sorry. I haven't done that yet. Ooh, okay. But we're going to do it today. We're going to do it today. Okay. Okay. <laughs> But any hoots, okay, so let's start with the, er, our intuition test. This is not a stone, it's a random object in my house. You can either try to um, guess the object or the color, or both, whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna put it out there into the ethers. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'll give you a few minutes to really kind of tap into that. Feel your way through the energy. Okay, ready? It is a green pencil grip. <laughs> a green pencil grip. Okay, um, anyways, all right, let's dive in. Let's get some messages. I, as of right now, uh, oh, um, this new moon energy, that's, I, I kind of want to focus on that, the new moon energy or just um, new cycles here, I should say, but I will say it is kind of ushering in, um, Kind of an accomplished feeling is what I'm picking up on. Um, whether it just be in your life in general, in your healing journey. Like I feel like there's possibly a moment of um, feeling like just very accomplished or just uh, there could be a moment in which you're like, oh my gosh, I did it. We did it. You know what I mean? Like there's something about reaching a goal, reaching some sort of... Um, Crossing some sort of threshold. This new moon is really ushering in some sort of accomplishment, I feel like, okay? And if you come across this um, and it's not this new moon, right? It's later on. Um, the message is still relevant, right? Whatever is, you know, um, happening, it could be the new moon closest to you or just this could just be going on, okay? All right, let's get some messages here and let us see... Um, they're telling me to get out the Moonology deck. Okay, that we shall do. That we shall do. Is it this basket? Okay, so moving forward. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. What is the collective need to know, please? Yeah, look, a fiery climax approaches and look at the bigger picture. This is that moment, right? This is a moment in which you pull yourself outwards um, of your of a situation and there's like this understanding, there's this realization of like, holy fuck. Like, I don't know, like I'm in a new timeline or like you could see something, you could uh, witness something 
somebody could, I don't know, there's something though. I feel like there's something that's, but it, it feels like a good kind of an exciting moment, almost a, like a rewarding feeling um, here, okay, in a way. So, um, mm -hmm. and this is going to, it's like the energy of this is really going to kind of help usher in this new like lifestyle is what I'm feeling or like a new way of living. This, this feels like a major, a major shift here. Okay. Big changes, just moving up to this like next level of your journey. Okay. And kind of getting comfortable in the, the new energy, but also like this realization, like, oh my gosh, I made it to the next level type thing. Like, you know what I mean? Like what, and however that seems for you. Okay. Um, because it's like, I don't know, it could be something you could be put in a situation in which you handle it differently. Um, but in more of a, I, I don't, I don't know. There's just something that makes me realize where you're either going to walk away from a situation. You're just going to have this aha moment. There's something, and it's just going to be like, Wow. I can't believe that I did it. I can't like, I don't, you're, you're accomplishing something very major here. Okay. You are. And I feel like it has to do with, see like on this, it's a, this one says, don't let your past hold you back, which is this like overall energy here. I feel like, um, because like I said, it, it feels like some sort of evolution, some sort of growth, some sort of accomplishment, some sort of goal here. Okay. And so there's this energy of like this, like dark clouds kind of clearing out, right. And you being in this, um, in this space now it is green so it could be like in the heart chakra here um this is the south node here okay um yeah some of you have shifted into your north node we've been talking about that um so we have adjustments are required, balance, spirituality, and practicality. The answers you need are coming and take time to breathe out. So there are some of you that need to um, like be more involved in your spiritual life and some that need to be more in the like, like on earth here. Okay. So basically what I'm saying is like some of you need to do like, and I don't even want to say need to. There just needs to be a balance of like, um, some of you are spending like a lot of time in meditation, like really tapping into your guides and, and um, doing shadow work. And that's beautiful. But there are other parts of your life that maybe are getting neglected. And then like vice versa, right? There are some of you that are spending a lot of time in this physical world, getting things done in the physical, right? Um, and there are spiritual needs that are being neglected here, right? So there's just a little bit of adjustments that need to be made. But th again, with this realization, I feel like it helps like usher in these adjustments, to be honest with you, because I feel like this realization helps you realize like this, this new perception or this almost this like moment, um, this recognition, this like rewarding, um, moment. It, it helps you kind of rearrange some things really quick. It's, it's almost like, okay, so like the rules for the last level don't apply on this level and I need to prioritize according to, yeah, there's just some like minor adjustments, you know what I mean? Some sort of like, um, like I, uh, it's, 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 um,
what is the what is the term that I'm looking for? But it has to do with like um, whatever. Anyways, it has to do with adjustments. End of the story. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so. Um, yeah, there's also this moment, it's like when this happens, take time to like really kind of um, take a break and analyze some things here, okay? Um, I feel like also you've been making some adjustments anyways. So some of you, you've been making these adjustments and um, this is coming through, okay? Um, for others of you, this perception, this new, this, you know, rewarding moment is going to help you make those adjustments. It's almost just going to kind of like knock you in gear a little bit. Like, and not to say that you're out of gear because... <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, expect powerful change. This says you're very close to achieving your goal. <laughs> okay, so, like, there is something major that's, uh, like, being ushered in for you, okay? So, um, some of you have been very patient waiting on this. There's somebody that feels overwhelmed by like the responsibility of uh, like, I don't know, there's somebody that feels like overwhelmed. Maybe there's a lot on their plate or there's a lot of responsibility or it seems like this is a lot of really hard work. There's something that you're doing that seems like it could be a lot of really hard work. There's a, I don't know. Um, don't get discouraged, okay? Take a time out. You're, you are feeling burnt out. Okay, that's what that is. You're feeling burnt out because you were burning the candle at both ends. Just take a time out. You know what? It's going to be there when you get back. And, and you can pick up right where you left off. And everything is going to be okay. And next time when you pick it up, right, just take it easy. Um, you know, don't, um, don't overwhelm yourself. Okay, so that, that could be actually something here, um, something that needs to be released, right? Why did you allow yourself to get burnt out? Why did you, you know what I mean? Where, where's that hustle mentality coming from rather than being in the flow? You know, are you doing what you love to do? Like there's a lot of questions that could be asked with that. So for whoever that's for, maybe just take some time out. Ask, ask yourself those questions. It's probably a really good idea to do it on this new moon. Um, so that you can really kind of, um, you know, place that next step. In, in a different direction here or in, in whatever direction you feel the most um, aligned with, okay? Um, for some of you, that is kind of this, there's an energy, there's um, there is something about that. There could be multiple choices. Um, okay, so somebody could be taking a test, possibly. Um, I don't know what the test is, but there could be multiple choices. The answer is always C. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> but anyways, no, um, you could have multiple options, multiple directions, but there's something about like laying a footprint, like your first footprint. Some of you, I'm, I'm like imagining you're kind of at this like spot. You could have up to three different 
things that you could focus on, go on, go in, you know, a direction, you know, could invest in some type of way. There's, there could be, you know, maybe up to three different um, options as far as like employees. I don't know. There's something there, but, um, go on Maui. So yeah, there is this energy, um, But there's an important, like, I feel like, here's my thing. I don't want you to feel a lot of pressure of making the wrong decision because your heart is going to make the right decision if you follow your heart, okay? Um, a lot of you are at a stage in which, the, like, the only way that you've been brought to this point is if you have, like, shown your ability to follow your heart and to have faith. Okay. So if you know what I mean, like you're, so there's kind of this energy of like, I don't, the divine doesn't want you to feel pressure of making the wrong decision. Okay. Um, because whatever decision you make is going to be the right decision for you at this time. Okay. And it, it's like this energy of like, I don't know, some of you could be worried or fearing that you're going to like miss out on something. And you're not going to miss out on anything. Um, actually, everything that you that you desire um, is it, because you know they're taking me back to this Empress energy. Is that you are going to attract these opportunities? These you know, um, I'm I'm feeling like maybe even like traveling or like. Um, you know, these people or, um, you know, just whatever it is, um, you know, learning opportunities, like different things here. Okay. Also, you know, um, wealth and abundance and, um, you know, whatever it is it, it, that you are, are l like looking to attract here, um, is, what you will attract, okay, no matter where you are. You see what I'm saying? It's like, um, like the divine will always make sure that you end up in the right place at the right time, okay? Okay. All right, let's get some... Yeah, mind your monkey business here. Yeah, there's this huge energy of like you were so close to achieving a goal and like this moment in which you do, there is like there's some sort of like um, you unlock something in you or there's some, like I'm telling you there it's like next level unlocked. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but um, so there's kind of this energy of just staying focused on what's right in front of you here, okay? Um, yeah, continue cultivating your peace. So we have cultivate your peace and we have flaunt it here, okay? Um, you know, that's, that's a big thing is uh, become an alchemist. Yeah, continue cultivating your peace. Um, and this is part of it, I feel like. This is part of this um, goal for some of you, is the peace, okay? It's like not having the worries, not having the fear for some of you. That's literally what it is, is you have released subconscious programming, and so you're just able to, to be free, right? Uh, excuse me. Right, you've you've released limitations is what I'm hearing for some of you. And so it's like what a huge thing to accomplish to release limitations because now you have like the like literally like the sky is not even the limit. Like you have the whole universe to like you've released limitations. So what what do you want? What do you want to go after? right? Because there are no limitations. So, and there's kind of this energy where some of you are achieving one goal and you're like, well, when I made this goal, I was kind of at a different state of consciousness. 
and I'm kind of ready for something else. But because you've released limitations, there's no fear around creating the something else rather than going after what has come towards you. That's okay. There's no shame in that. Okay? Yeah, practice curiosity. Exactly. Like you, it's like you literally have this whole playground here. For a lot of you, that's what this is, is you're releasing limitations, and whether it be across the board in a certain area in your life, something here that's changing the game for you, that's bringing in more freedom. Yeah, always settle for more. This is also bringing in a lot of confidence. It's like you have always, we picked up on this yesterday, or a certain day, I don't know, celebrate the small things. I feel like you've always celebrated the small things, and so now you get to enjoy the big things. Whatever that means for you. Yeah, follow your bliss. Exactly. Okay. All right, we're going to get some final messages. Just making sure. Yes, sir. Hey, listen, somebody is feeling left out by somebody else and they're just, they're coming towards you. What is this person's intentions? I feel like this person is coming to talk to you. Somebody may be coming to like gossip to you or spread some type of rumor. Um... They may be coming to give you some type of information to see what you do with it here. Um, but there's some sort of conversation. Now, I do feel like th this could be going on. Somebody could be feeling left out by you. Or they could be feeling left out by somebody else, right? Um, and they're coming to talk to you, okay? Um, the defender here. I feel like... Um, this could be part of that, that um, energy where... Like you just find yourself naturally like sticking up for whoever this is like um, that type of energy because I'm really feeling like there's like some serious gossip here. Um, but I feel like this could also be an energy of wanting to try to trap you. Okay, something about maybe um, it's like wanting to um, like imagine that you are that like light in the middle, right? Um, and all those swords are coming at you. It's like wanting to kind of um, get you in a conversation. Um, so that you'll say something so that you will um, like say the wrong thing or so they can hold something against you or... 
there's something here too. There's kind of a little bit of that energy or so that they can take this conversation to whoever this is that they're feeling left out by. Weird shit, weird shit. But this could be in this moment is where you have this awareness of like, holy shit. Okay. Um, it doesn't have to be. This could also just be like a side note. Like, hey, just beware. Something's coming towards you with some shit and... It could certainly be a setup here. Yeah, this is somebody also who, like, I feel like collective, your life could be moving forward, okay? Um, yeah, they're feeling left out by this third party. Now, this third party doesn't have to be, like, it doesn't, this doesn't have to be a romantic person, and this third party doesn't have to be romantic either, right? Um, but it's like definitely like I feel like there's an energy that could play you against somebody else or try to do that or um, you know what I mean? Like if they're arguing with this person, they come and get their rocks off with you or try to and vice versa here, okay? Um, but there is an energy of wanting to kind of entrap you in that way of like catching you saying something or Honestly, I'm not sure that that's even, because again, it makes me feel like um, with this defender here, it's like, uh, yeah, I don't, I'm feeling a very, in, like an energy that's, that has integrity here, okay? Um, but it, there's also this energy in which I feel like you're, you're with the chariot here, your life may be moving Things may be moving for you. This person is po possibly in a stuck energy or things are still for them. They're not moving. They're having to put the anchor down. Um, they're having to go within. Okay. So there's kind of an energy too around maybe a little bit of, um, yeah, they're in hermit mode here. Okay. Um, trying to gain some sort of insight, some sort of truth, trying to master the mind here. Okay. They may be working a lot. Also working through some burdens. Okay, um, either this is them or this is you. Um, yeah, because I feel like whoever this is, there's there's an energy of wanting to reconcile with you here, okay? Maybe in the future, okay? So, but, and they may be coming to talk to you about that also rather than like the gossip here, okay? Um, so just take it where it fits. It's kind of like all over this, you know, this collective reading, um, the way that this is going to unfold is, is different. For some of you, this person is just coming to gossip. For others of you, this person is coming to talk to you about some sort of work that they've been doing here, okay, on themselves. Um, for others of you, they're, they're being forced to do this work, right? That's probably the one that's gossiping. But there is an energy of wanting to talk to you about something. There is also an energy of wanting to... Yeah. But this person is feeling stuck, ultimately. Yeah. It's like this person knows where you're headed here. Okay? Um, and so they just... They want to join before you go any further right before it's harder to it's like you're still within reach okay and so this person wants um to get you while you're in reach here and again it doesn't have to be romantic honestly this could be business related Okay, this could be an old employee here, okay, or even um, a family member or a friend or something. Um, some of you are, like, this is somebody who sees you as a star, like somebody who's going to be famous or well-known in the future here, okay? And so they're, they're feeling burdened by what it is that you're working on. And um, so, yeah, they want to come, like, it's like they want to come jump in, um, you know, it's like get a part of the,
Yeah, but there's been some sort of um, cord that's been cut here. There's also an energy of like, I don't know, collective, I don't know if you were like holding yourself back in some type of way. I don't see you doing that anymore. If you were holding yourself back, I see you releasing that, okay? For whatever reason, I don't know why you would have been doing that. Um, but I think that part of this realization, part of this accomplishment is releasing that energy of holding yourself back and keeping yourself small here, okay? Yeah, there's an energy that basically I feel like they may be from your past that they're just I first it's like I, I feel like I'm picking up on several different energies here. Okay, but there's definitely been a cord that's been cut here. You can see. There's there's been something that's been cut. This is actually the devil card. Um And you've evolved into this, like, um, we have the, the Queen of Wands, the Nurturer, and the Defender here. Like, that's an energy. You know what I mean? Like, that's a whole energy. Um... Yeah. Ace of Swords. Judgment. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, I feel like this is somebody who could have tried to bind you or could have tried to um, get in the way of your path or something like that. Um, but that cord has been cut here. That tie has been cut. There's something... They could have tried to bind themselves to your finances here. Just something, something really weird. But... Um, There's this energy about not being confused about your happiness, right? It's like this person cannot, um, with this world card and that person standing in, like, right in front of their eye, it's like you, this person cannot um, get in your way anymore, okay? Um, Yeah, so whoever this is, I feel like they're very much in and out of your life, probably, okay? Um, but they definitely see that life is, like, I feel like life is turning around for you, okay? Um, 
you know, just as much as you're seeing it, so so are other people here, especially this person, okay? So just be mindful of that. But anyways, enjoy this new moon energy, okay? It's fantastic. When I looked up, it was three, four, five, six on the timer. So steady progression, right? Um, I love that for you and growth. And actually, I'm feeling guided to look that up. Also, look, we have the Eight of Cups here. This is an energy that you certainly moved on from. Um, okay. Uh, hold up. Yeah, can be seen as a sign of steps, inferring that you're taking appropriate steps in your life to take to advance in positive ways. Encouragement that your hard work and dedication will be fully rewarded. I'm telling you, um, an abundance of success and wealth is coming your way. Like, <laughs> okay, so you are achieving something. And I'm excited. Enjoy this new moon energy. Light some candles. Vibe out. Okay. Meditate. Get some shit done. I love you. We'll talk soon.